Sri Lanka cricket has always been surrounded by chaos, whether that's political interference, questionable board decisions, conspiracy theories, or match-fixing allegations. However, the cricket team has managed to rise above the drama, the chaos, and perform to a high level. Until recently, when after the retirement of the likes of Kumar Sangakkara and Mahela Jawadina, the talent pool in Sri Lanka was as weak as it had been for about 20, 25 years. The great teams of the 90s and the noughties were able to rise above the drama and the chaos. We didn't hear as much about it then because the team was winning. Now we hear about it a lot more. The team is losing. The fact of the matter is that chaos and drama has always been there. It's just been brought to the surface now by poor results. Sri Lanka's always had a poor domestic structure. Sri Lanka's always had a cricket board that interferes with teams in a negative way. Sri Lanka's always been affected by match-fixing allegations, conspiracy theories galore. It's just that this crop of players isn't as good, and so it's harder for them to rise above all that. But that's not all this current crop has had to deal with. They've had to deal with several injuries, fan unrest, bad luck with tosses, instability in the coaching staff, instability in the selection committee, instability in the captaincy, instability in the playing 11. It's been hard for this group to perform at the best level, not to mention losing as many games as they have. Their confidence is quite low. However, the series against Pakistan, where Sri Lanka won 2-0, was the blueprint for success for this new Sri Lankan team that is not as talented as previous ones. And that is that you can't rely on a few great individuals and carry a lot of passengers. Everyone has to contribute. In the past, Sri Lanka have been able to get away with having five or six incredible players and then basically the other five can be whoever you want them to be. Now, there is no room for passengers. And in this series, almost every player stepped up to the plate for Sri Lanka. Dimut Karanaratna continued to revive his career. He is becoming a consistent opening batsman for Sri Lanka. Dinesh Chandima scored big runs as well, taking the pressure off his captaincy as well. I thought he was very inventive with his field settings. He brought passion to the team. I think now he has established himself as the test captain, and that certainty is big for Sri Lanka going forward. Sabir Samarawikrama showed flashes of a young Mahela Jawadana. There are talented players coming out of Sri Lanka. Niroshan Dikvella showed some maturity, showed he's learning to build an innings. And he was crucial in this series, taking Sri Lanka to big totals. And also his glove work was world class. Wicket keeping is one facet of the game Sri Lanka do not have to worry about. The fast bowlers, Suranga Lakma, Nuan Pradeep, Laibu Gamage, all with skill, patience and discipline in what were mostly unhelpful conditions for the fast bowlers. That was great to see. Gilruan Pereira performed the role of an all-rounder, making some key contributions with the bat and taking some of the load off Ranganaherat's shoulders as well. Ranganaherat himself, what can you say about the man? He is an absolute legend of the game. Even Kusal Mendes and Kaushal Silva, who didn't perform in this series, they both took some very good catches. So this was a team performance. Everyone contributed. And that is what Sri Lanka needs going forward. This is not the most talented team Sri Lanka's ever had. But they have to make up for it with a team ethic and also desire, which I think we saw in this test series. Now, I know this isn't a great team by any stretch of the imagination. They're probably going to get battered 3-0 in India, and I can't see them winning games outside Asia. However, you cannot undermine how historic this series was. Sri Lanka have never swept a test series away from home against opposition other than Zimbabwe and Bangladesh. This was a huge victory for Sri Lanka. They don't win many tests away from home, even in Asia. In a Pakistani stronghold, they haven't lost a series in the UAE since 2010. That in itself is incredible. So well done to the Sri Lankan team for rising above the chaos 
and the drama. Hopefully, they can do it more often than not. The key to that is going to be creating a team where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Compared to previous teams, this Sri Lankan team is not as talented, but they can make up for it with a good team ethic and a passion to play for the country. So for Sri Lanka, there will always be hope. And for Sri Lankan fans, this was a big series in confirming that while things haven't been great, this team always has a chance.